Hey there! I'm sure that many of you have just been taught the strig identity in school, the angle sum identity for science, without ever being told why it is true. Well, right now I'll show you a very clean geometric proof of this identity involving the areas of triangles. Take a look at this triangle. Notice how its altitude, BD, splits the angle ABC into two angles, which we will call alpha and beta. Remember that the area of triangle ABC will be half of AB times BC, times the sine of the angle between them, ABC, or using our definitions, the sine of alpha plus beta. Notice how its area is also the sum of two right triangle areas, of triangles ABD and CBD. The areas of right triangles can be expressed without a sign, as simply half their base times height. Also, because they are right triangles, we can express certain side lengths of them in terms of trigonometric functions of the angles alpha and beta. Here, the base of ABD is h times the tangent of beta, and the base of CBD is h times the tangent of alpha. We can substitute these values for their bases to get such an expression with the tangents on screen. A and B, the two sides of the triangle, can also be expressed in trigonometric functions of the angles, as h over the cosine of their respective angle alpha or beta. Then we can substitute these values into the area for triangle ABC. Now, both of our expressions contain only the height and certain trigonometric functions of the angles. Since the sum of the areas of right triangles is identical to area ABC, we can set them equal. Then, as shown on screen, we can cancel both the h squared and the half on each side, and we are finally left with a unitary expression for the sine of alpha plus beta. Just a bit more algebra ahead, such as converting the tangents to the quotient of sine and cosine, and we finally derive this identity.